and welcome to my C++ uh, escape character um, this character we actually developed using uh, Dev C++ so let me just show you the compilation using Dev C++ that is it right here that's the compilation right there okay so I believe you guys can do something very similar but um, the next thing I would do now is uh, take you to the Dev C++ development environment and you see how I actually put together these codes so let's go to Dev C++ now but before then let, let me close the compilation all right as you can see I've actually imported the IO string here and uh, I'm using a name space standard I declare my main function right there that's it right there I've changed the background color to white and uh, the text is uh, black I decide to put a space there see see out okay and line then uh, here right here is my heading which you guys saw and just this, this is just a line and another line the character and what it means there's another line here this is supposed to be my in fact that is my forward slash that's the ASCII notation for that or ASCII value sorry and that's the ASCII value for lowercase and uh, what that means actually is bell so if I let me just show you all of the codes just in case if you want to do something similar you can see you, I believe you can see that it's very easy there isn't much uh, there isn't much serious code into it it's very easy for you to produce something very similar look at that and right there is the hexadecimal and that is the decimal notation right there so right here I decide to say system pause without the system pause all you will see is the system will just flash and that's it you won't see anything so if I run the program one more time let me compile and run the program one more time right it's my is the end result of my codes you guys can see that okay as the alarm or the alert and a back space feedback and so on this was developed just using these codes right here so if you guys want to do something like that I'm going to show you the code one more time so that you have a good look at it so there is the code and that's the end of this tutorial you have a nice day guys bye